Hey guys, this is Mike Chen. Like I mentioned in the first ramen video, there are just way too many great ramen places in New York City. But you know what? It's okay because it's gonna be my pleasure to eat through most of them. And that's why I'm here in Long Island City, New York, the start of the, the, the second New York City ramen tour. You know, the sequel, the return of the broth. And I am at a place I am super excited about because it's generally regarded as one of the best ramen places in New York City. And it's a freezing cold day. Let's go get a hot bowl of ramen. All right, I'm first in line right now. It's 4.30 p.m. And I heard from reviews that this place, um, usually a line starts forming around like 4 or 4.30. Maybe that's just on weekends, but I didn't want to risk it. It is freezing cold. So I'm going to go inside. And today, all I had was some airplane food. I had some dessert. So I can't wait to go inside and get three bowls of ramen. Yeah, I'm going to get three plus a bunch of appetizers. So cold. First in line. So excited. I mean, it's not really a line, it's just me standing here all alone. Finally got inside. This is a really small, cozy place. And there's four appetizers and four different ramen. Just got my appetizer, stuffed chicken wings, stuffed with foie gras. This is supposed to be like a spectacular appetizer to have here. The anticipation, it, it's almost killing me right now. Look how massive this is. They said to dip the bottom in the strawberry rhubarb jam. Oh, that's sushi. And it's supposed to be cheese and foie gras in here. Wow. This is stuffed in all the right places. Oh, that flavor is intense. I mean, without the jam, I think it's fine. Mm. What I love about this is just the different layers. You bite it, you get that crazy crunch from the outside. Then the tender chicken meat, which you think is already really tender, then you bite into the foie gras, and that thing just dissipates. Actually, this whole section is boneless, so you can just take a bite of this entire part. Mm. Wow, I've never had fried chicken with, with jam, but that might be a great way to start eating fried chicken. I honestly didn't know how much I was gonna like this, but the yum factor is off the charts. This is Moo's version of Okonomiyaki. Here they have smoked trout, shaved bonito flakes, syrup. This is very New York. Also fish roll, how oh, pretty. Oh man, there's a lot of surprises on this. This is really such a unique version of this dish. The pancake itself is just fluffy, beautiful pancakes sitting on a nice bed of syrup. The fish brings in a light, slightly savory, slightly sweet element, a very smoky element. This is the perfect brunch item. That's what's so New York about this. And it's not heavy. I'll finish this plate, no problem. Mm. My syrup's great too. You guys gotta get this when you come here. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Oh, thank you so much. The first thing that comes to mind, this is a work of art. I don't think I got this emotional string out of the Mundo Lisa and the Louvre. Of course, that's just really tiny and it was blocked by a sea of Chinese people. Whatever, it, this is beautiful. I'm just gonna try the broth. Oh, look at this. Look at this creamy. Oh, look how creamy that is. Wow. Wow. It not only tastes like liquid silk, it tastes like smoky liquid silk. I mean, the amount of porky flavor in this broth is ridiculous. Wow. I've never had a ramen broth that was smoky. The owner Joshua just told me that the smoky flavor is actually from black garlic. Black garlic. Who would have thought? Man, that's interesting. That's fantastic. The noodles itself, very thin, straight. Let's see how well the noodles grab onto the broth. That grabbed down like a champ. I never wanted that bite to end. The smokiness of the broth transferred itself onto the noodles. Not only is the broth just absolutely fantastic. Hang on. That's really good porky flavor, but there's not a lot of fat in this. It's a little gelatinous, which I think comes from the, uh, the tendons and the cartilage. So it goes in. That's the elixir of life, people. It goes down silky smooth. Hello, pork jaw. Oh, you gotta be careful with this thing. You gotta treat this thing like an infant. Look at this. It's just falling apart. Did I just drink that? I'm sorry. Was that gone for a second here? That's the most incredible piece of meat to have ever sinked into a bowl of ramen. This was made by a magician. I mean, how else would you explain this thing disappearing in my mouth and me reeling in shock for like 20 seconds? All right, you know what? Before I go any further, I gotta try the egg before the yolk disappears on me. Mm. I didn't know what could be creamier than this broth, but that did it by far. Best ball of tonkatsu ramen had in New York, hands down. Not even a close contest. I don't even know what's better. The broth, the noodles, or this splendid thing. Save the best for last. 
I'm just gonna sit here with my empty bowl and just uh, reminisce for a while. This bowl is the move. They only serve 20 bowls of these a day because this thing costs so much to make. If he serves it like regularly, the, the place would just go out of business. And we don't want that because we need this ramen place here. This broth, bone marrow, veal, and oxtail. Ooh, that's beefy. <laughs> That hit, that hit me in, in, my, in my beef loving heart right here. Wow. This reminds me of that $300 bowl of uh, beef noodle soup I had in Taiwan. I feel like an equal amount of richness, almost as beefy as that. And the ramen here, okay, this bowl of ramen, the noodles are different. This is more of the curly yellow ramen noodles. Mm. Man, these noodles are chewy. Never had pickle and ramen before. Why not? Never had, oh, that's a spicy pickle too. Never had corned beef and ramen. Oh, oh, that corned beef just broke in half. Sorry, I'll be more careful next time. This thing needs a fragile sticker. Mm. Oh. Are you kidding me? Wow. That reminds me of Kobe beef in Japan. The, the meltiness of it. And guys, not only did this not disappoint, you 100% need to come here and eat this thing right here. I'm holding between my chopsticks. All right, ramen bowl number three. This is a lot different than the previous couple bowl of ramen I had. This is shoyu ramen. I and mean, traditionally, this ramen is either made with chicken or dashi, but this is made with duck. Ooh, that's ducky. That is definitely a lot richer than chicken broth. But I don't feel like it's overly oily. It's just got that extreme umami flavor. And I remember on the last ramen tour, I did try a shoyu ramen, but the soup was very light. It was it was more soy saucy, not as flavorful as this. All right, let's dig into this. I gotta tell you one thing about this place. They give you a lot of food. There's a lot of noodles in here. Mm. Again, the pork here, look at this. Ah, it's, just, it's ridiculous. Mm. I'm glad I kind of ended with this bowl of ramen. Because although it is very rich, it's actually quite settling for my stomach. So if you're ever in a mood for like an extreme bowl of duck soup with some ridiculous pork, yeah, this is your place. This place really exceeded all my expectations. I mean, I, I knew this place was good. I heard a lot of good stuff about it, a lot of good reviews, but to come here and eat it for myself, wow. This might be my top two or maybe the best ramen experience I had in New York City. I think I like this place better than Ivan Ramen. All right, let's break it down. In terms of broth, man, that first broth, I'm still thinking about it right now. I'm like, every time I think about it, I, I shake a little bit. I'm gonna give that a perfect five out of five. Noodles, spongy, perfectly with the soup, four and a half out of five. When it comes to value, it's priced just like any other ramen place. And they actually explain to you the breakdown of the prices. And guys, I'm telling you, for what I'm paying, the quality here is unbelievable. I also give that a 4.5 out of five. That's an average of 4.66, you know what that means? That means you need to come and eat at this place like, like tonight. I had a lot of great ramen in my, in my last food tour and I was hoping for a really strong start in my second one, but now I'm feeling like not only did I get that strong start, I'm at a peak. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what else could, could really top this. But you know what? That's the fun of food adventures. So let's keep going. On to location number two. Location number two and day two, I am at another one of the most famous ramen places in New York City, Total Ramen. This place is always packed. I, I mean, I got here at 12, it's packed. I, I, can't, I went to what I figured was the, the least crowded location, still packed. But luckily I'm by myself, so I was able to get a seat. And I got their best seller, which is the Makeup High Time. Just a massive bowl of ramen and chicken broth. And this thing, it's got a lot of stuff going on here. This soup has garlic, onions, green sprouts, scallions, cabbage, half a boiled egg. And it's only been sitting here for about a couple of minutes you see it's already congealing on top. Give this a mix. Wow, look at this. Right away I can tell these noodles are gonna be chewy. Noodles, not too thin, not too thick. Also roasted chow shou pork. And check this out, look at this. Pieces of pork with the skin on it. And oh my God, I lost my egg somewhere. There's a lot of meat in here. This might be the ramen I've had so far with the most amounts of meat. Look at this. This is just a big old piece of pork belly with tons of fat. I'm gonna love the heck out of this. They also give me a big old cup of hot oil. It looks like some garlic in there. I'm gonna try the soup before I spice it up. Whoa. This is... This is by far the richest chicken broth I've had. It tastes almost a little bit starchy. Can I ask you, is there pork in here at all? Broth? No. No, no. just chicken. Wow. Mm -hmm. It tastes borderline like a pork broth. So far, the, the, the chicken broths I had in ramen have been pretty thin, a little more soy sauce flavor. Not this. By far the richest, silkiest chicken broth I've ever had. Thickest, too. 
Oh, wow. I just took a bite of that roasted garlic that's in there. In contrast to Mu Ramen, the garlic doesn't really provide much of a smoky flavor. It's just extremely garlicky, a little bit bitter, really nice. Right away, I can tell I'm gonna love these noodles. I mean, I don't wanna judge a noodle just by looking at it. I don't wanna be superficial like that, but <laughs> these look extremely good. Oh, wow, that noodle's superb. Every mouthful I take, you get a good amount of the soup. And the pork, you know, just look at it. It's just all scattered in the soup. I feel like this is what also kind of thickens up the chicken broth. Oh, that pork is good. You get that beautiful porky flavor and, and just a hit of smoke every time you chew. All right, I, I think it's time the hot oil goes in here. I just want to say, on its own, the broth is amazing. I don't need this, but I got to know what this is like. Ooh, this looks like hot oil with just a ton of garlic inside. Look at that spice clinging to every strand of the beautiful golden noodles. Oh, and look at this. All the pork is just kind of broken up. So every bite of noodles you take, you got pork, you got the spice, you got the broth holding it on for dear life. You got the crunchy sprouts and onions and sometimes the cabbage. Can't wait to try this new and spiced up broth. That hot oil actually looks spicy, and it is spicy, but it's also really flavorful. There's some numbiness to it, and it doesn't overwhelm um, this broth, which I don't feel like anything really could, because this broth is one of the most flavorful, richest broth I've ever had in New York. So all that spice is gonna do, it's gonna complement it. That's perfect. This is not a hyped up place. They can 100% back it up. Probably in terms of spicy ramen, this might be the best thing I've had after Ichiran in Japan. Check out this egg. Forgot about this. Look at all the spice in the egg. Put some pork in here. Oh. Oh, that's creamy. I mean, the broth is creamy. The egg is creamy. Next, I think I think I gotta try this fatty pork. This might scare people. If you don't like fat, this might scare you. I mean, this is intimidating, right? Look at all those fats on this. Here's. Oh, that was a pork symphony in my mouth. I almost felt like I had a pork soup when I took that bite. Because all the fat just, just rendered completely. A little bit of chewy meat, nice smoky flavor. Woo. I think I found another piece of it. This might be even better than the last piece because it's a little more even. Fat and meat, and this time, I eat it with a bite of noodle. Oh, that's the best bite I had all day. Bravo, Toto, keep on doing what you're doing. Look at this, this is perfect ramen meat. This place is insane. As famous as Ipudo, in my opinion, 10 times is better. This was their mega bowl, my biggest bowl here. If I wasn't going anywhere else today, I could knock back three more of these. It's that good. I mean, I wish they offered like a ramen challenge. I think I win that. Mm. Oh, this bottom is the best part. All the scattered meat, the sunk, all the spices. This is probably the most flavorful part of a ramen meal. And I still got like big pieces of pork. I feel like something else that sets this place apart. The roasted garlic is a beautiful touch. The broth and the spice, it's not just spicy. I love the peppery element to it. It, it almost borderline tastes like a Super rich, brothy, citron soup. All right, to break it down, we'll make this really simple. Broth, five. Noodles, 4.5. Value, $17.50 for that big bowl of noodles. Yeah, that's a 4.5. Exceeded all my expectations. One of my favorite places in New York. Two for two. Let's keep going. Location number three. Wow, to say that was a delicious bowl of ramen at Toto, that's an understatement. A bit like herding cattle because there's so many people in there that want to get you out. But still, I go back any day. Also, um, when I came out, there's a place right beside it that um, I remember last night I was at Moo Ramen. The chef Joshua told me that that's his favorite place for ramen. Since it's, it's next door, let's go. Wow, so if you're seeing this, you're at the bottom of the stairs. A 20 minute wait, not too bad. Pretty good price too. This place is, is open by the same people that um, that's responsible for Toto. And I heard if you come here, you gotta get the tonkatsu. Wow, you can actually customize your ramen a lot here. You can choose your noodles. You can choose to have wavy or straight noodles. The firmness of the noodles. And this is supposed to be their best seller. I think this is a tonkatsu ramen. Wow, this looks really good. Spicy garlic ramen. And that's just calling my name right there. I would like straight noodles and I would like it very firm. Second bowl of ramen in like 30 minutes. I'm still going strong. The ramen tour will continue. Thank you so much. Check this out, the spicy garlic ramen. I think their second most popular ramen here. I'm gonna set the egg aside. I keep making the mistake of like mixing my egg in with the broth and then the yolk all disappearing. So I'm not gonna make that mistake this time. Whoa, look at this. Two big, big pieces of roast pork. And I think this black thing, this is all spicy garlic sauce. Broth doesn't seem that rich or thick. 
It's spicy. It's very soy saucy. Just like I thought. Broth isn't that rich. It's creamy. The broth does have some nice smokiness to it, but I don't think this thing can afford a apartment in New York City. Also, maybe I didn't mix this well enough, but for being a spicy garlic ramen, it's kind of lacking the garlicky flavor that was so pronounced at Moo and even over at Toto. But great aftertaste, a little bit gelatinous. These noodles actually look quite good. The noodles are good. I mean, they're firm, but just as I thought, they're not able to grab onto the broth so well. I feel like with this ramen, you need to take a bite of noodles and just slurp a mouthful of broth. That works. These are two giant pieces of roast pork though. Mm. That might be the best thing in this bowl. Mm. That's ridiculously porky. It's one of the most tender pieces of roast pork I had in ramen. Doesn't have that smoky flavor because there's no blowtorch involved in this process. Still nice fatty flavor, but honestly, I expected the garlic ramen to be more garlicky. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the flavor, I, I love the mushrooms, but having just had an extremely flavorful, rich, creamy bowl of total ramen, this kind of lacks that wow factor. And to break it down, in terms of broth, I give it a three and a half out of five. Noodles are good, solid, four out of five. When it comes to value, this is a $15 bowl of ramen, which is probably one of the cheapest bowls of ramen that I had in New York. There's a lot of soup, a lot of noodles inside this bowl. So it will satisfy you, but it won't, you know, completely satisfy you. So I'll give that a 3.5 out of five as well. So even though over at Total Next Door, it's really rushed, feels like the service, the people aren't, aren't the nicest, I would still choose to go there every single time. All right, let's keep going. This next place, I hear good things. I'm here at Minka Ramen, and this is the last place I'm going to for this video. First impression, this place, it, it's a cozy place in Alphabet City. Uh, people, you guys are really nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for not hurting me like cattle. I appreciate that. They told me the, the best seller here is a bowl of spicy miso ramen. They had me at spicy. Thank you. Wow, third bowl of ramen for the day. I think I love ramen a little too much. Really no reasonable way that I should still be excited for this bowl of ramen, but yet I am. I mean, just look at this beautiful thing. This just kind of reminds me of staring into a beautiful orange sunset. And the only difference is the sun has no core in the middle and you cannot eat the sun. But just, just by them putting this together, I mean, it's, it's cause for excitement. Do you hear the crackling when they're roasting the cha shao with the blowtorch? Look at this beautiful color. There's black mushrooms, corn, bamboo shoots. Kind of surprising that it's hard boiled. And the broth, it looks thick, it, it looks a bit spicy. That's my favorite thing to do in ramen. I mean, as picturesque as ramen is, as beautiful as it looks, I, I just love mixing all the ingredients together. Get that piece of nori nice and soggy, absorb that broth. Noodles, beautiful golden color, nice and curly. Rose pork looks beautifully tender. I mean, yo, whoa. <laughs> I cannot wait for this thing to go into my mouth. Like, I can barely pick it up. I think there needs to be instructions on how to delicately handle this piece of pork. Look at this thing. I can cut this thing with chopsticks. First things first, let's try the broth. I think this is my first bowl of miso ramen in this video series. Ooh. Whoa, this is thick. I can almost chew this broth. It's a mixture of chicken and pork. Mm. Oh, you can definitely taste that miso flavor. That has strong miso flavor. Oh, I can get drunk off this miso. But seriously, I might, I might need a knife to cut this broth. Oh, that is... I feel like this is borderline not broth anymore. It's just borderline sauce. Like thick, creamy sauce. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. And I know because the sauce is so thick, I, I know this noodle is gonna pick up a lot of it. I mean, let's just look at, look at this. You know this is gonna be flavorful. This is some Spider-Man noodles right here. It is hanging on to that broth for dear life. Happy ramen day to me. Wow, that is saucy. And wow, is that miso ever pronounced. You can taste the soybeans in here. <laughs> it's almost like a hint of Zha Min taste in this. 
There ain't nothing boring or ordinary about this ball. I almost feel like this would be more suited for like a, like a dip ramen because the sauce is so flavorful and it is so thick. But hey, I, I've never complained about too much sauce before. I'm not gonna start now. No, I can't wait to bite into this pork. Look at this, it's barely hanging onto my chopsticks. Oh, did it look really tender and smoky? Because if it did, it is. That's ridiculous. And the more you chew, oh, the more that smokiness resonates in your mouth. Wow. It's different than the total pork because total pork is more fatty, but the lean part is, is still a bit chewy. But this thing, mm. Mm. every bit of it. Wow, that is really phenomenal. The noodles are nice. I feel it, it, it's slightly overboiled. And the spiciness of the spicy miso, it's not overwhelming. I would call this more mild than spicy. Maybe this hard boiled egg is just misunderstood. I don't know. Mm, it's got a good umami flavor all the way from the whites to the yolk. It doesn't do that melty thing. I feel like it tastes more like a tea egg than an egg I typically find in a bowl of ramen. The star of this bowl is 100% this pork. That is the shiny star. I'm not saying the rest of this is bad, it's just that the pork is that good. I feel like my pork, I can't even find it anymore because it just dissipated into the broth and that makes me sad. Oh, found some. This is really delivering me the knockout punch. I mean, this is probably the most flavorful and, and heaviest ramen I had today. I think next time I come here, I'm gonna do the spicy miso as a dip ramen because consuming all this broth, I'm falling asleep as I eat. All right, let's talk about this place. I only tried the spicy miso today and in terms of broth, it's delicious. It's also extremely heavy. I'll give that a four out of five. The noodles, a little less chewy than I liked. Three and a half out of five. For overall value, that massive bowl of ramen was $15. I mean, I'll, I'll pay that much just for a few pieces of that beautiful pork. So I'll give that a four out of five. I like this place. It's cozy. You can see the kitchen right in front of you and you can see them actually blow torching the pork. Now I've been to Paris and I've seen the Eiffel Tower. This looks better. I think I'm, I'm, I'm all ramen out today. I have no idea how, how I'm gonna drive home as of yet. Let's go take a walk. I love ramen days because afterwards it just feels so good to walk around on a chilly day with a belly full of warm soup noodles. So a little recap. I think the place I love the most in this video will really have to be a tie between Mu and Toto. And probably Mu wins out just because it's a better atmosphere. You get to sit down, people are nice to you, no one's rushing you. But oh my God, that bowl of ramen at Toto. Ever since I had it, the next couple places I went to, I, I still pop it up in my mind. I, I felt like I was cheating on it with other ramen places. Oh, and that insane porky tonkatsu ramen at Mu, along with some of the best savory sweet pancakes I've ever had, you know? I made a lot of memories on this ramen tour. All right guys, as always, all the places I went to is listed in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching this ramen adventure. And until we eat again, I'll see you later.